Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to build a blog using System.io. Blogging is one of the most effective ways to generate organic traffic and capture leads for your business. Let's get started. First, let's create the blog itself. From your System.io dashboard, navigate to the Sites tab and click on Blogs. Since this is our first blog, the list is empty, so let's click Create. You need to give your blog a name for your reference, assign a blog domain to it, and customize its URL path. Then you need to choose a template. After selecting one, click save. And just like that, the foundation of your blog is created. To start configuring it, click on your new blog's name from the list. If you click on blog settings, you can edit the values you just entered. Additionally, you'll be able to copy the RSS feed link of your blog. This is useful if you plan to publish your blog on other platforms. Before we start adding content, it's essential to understand the layout structure. Your blog's overall design, meaning the elements that appear on every single page like the header and footer, is controlled by the blog layout. From your blog's dashboard, click the blog layout button at the top. This opens the page editor for the layout. Here, you can add your logo to the header, customize the navigation links, and design your footer. You'll notice a special element in the middle called blog content. This is a dynamic placeholder that will be automatically replaced by the specific content of each page or post you create. From the settings tab on the left, any changes you make here, such as font style or color, will apply across your entire blog for a consistent look and feel. Once you're happy with your master layout, save your changes and exit. Now, let's look at the individual pages of your blog. Click on the Pages tab. The template comes with a few standard pages already created, like a home page, a post list page, an about page, and a contact page. You can edit any of these by clicking the three dots and selecting Edit. To create a brand new page, click the Create button. You'll need to give your new page a name and a URL path. Now, if you want a specific page to have a completely different design from the rest of your blog, you can do that. On the three dots next to the page, select Don't Use Blog Layout. This unlinks the page from the layout, giving you a blank page to design whatever you want in the editor. You can always switch it back later by choosing Use Blog Layout. Just like the blog pages have a blog layout, your blog posts also have their own. This is called the post layout, and it controls how elements like the post title, feature image, and content are arranged. To edit this, click the post layout button. Here you can define the structure for every article you publish. By default, you will see dynamic placeholders for the blog post title, blog post image, and the blog post content itself. You can rearrange these and add other elements, like a sidebar or an author bio, that you want to appear on every post. Once your post layout is set, let's create our first actual blog post. Click Create in the Post tab. In the pop-up, you'll need to fill in the post title, a short description, a URL path, and upload a main image for the post. Finally, you can assign it to a category, which we'll cover next. Now, click Save. Your post is now created, but it's inactive. To add your article content, click the three dots and select Edit. This will open the post editor where you can write your article. When it's ready, click the three dots again and choose Activate or Schedule to publish it on your blog. To help your readers navigate your content, you should organize your posts using categories. From your blog dashboard, click on the Categories tab. Your template may come with a few examples, which you can rename or delete. To create a new one, click Create. You'll need to give the category a name, a URL path, a description, and then fill in the SEO title and SEO description fields. These are important as they help search engines understand what the category page is about. After creating your categories, you can assign them to your posts. Go back to the Post tab, click the three dots next to a post, and choose Settings. In the Settings pop-up, you will see your list of categories, and you can simply check the box for the one you want to assign to that post. And there you have it. You now know how to build a complete blog from start to finish. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.